Hey everyone, it's Laura from Hey Thistle Bay. Welcome to part one of my Stardew Valley Let's Play. I'm going to be playing with the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. If you're not familiar with it, it is a really amazing mod. It adds so much new gameplay. I'm just going to bring up the web page here. So it's described as a fan-made expansion for Concerned Ape Stardew Valley. It adds 26 new NPCs, 33 locations, and 230 character events. Um, some fish, some reimagined regular areas, farm maps, um, so many new quests, festivals, and other miscellaneous additions. First, we're gonna look at the new farm map. So this is the map that I'm gonna be using. So you can see here, this is the grandpa's farm map. Um, I have been using it before. You might have seen pictures on my Instagram page. Um, so you can see the house is here. It really blends in well with the pre-existing map. Like you can see how it's connected really easily to the bus station. Um, it connects down towards Marty's farm. The greenhouse is in kind of unique location, kind of a little tucked away, which makes it a little, a little more inaccessible, um, but it's still okay. There's two pre-made barn and coop areas. Um, and there's this really unique addition of Grandpa's Shed. Um, so this has a lot of really great late gameplay. Um, you can see already there's like an Iridium uh, meteor in front of it. So it's going to take a while before you can get to it. Um, but then even when you do get to it, there's a lot of things you need to grind for to get this up and running. But it adds a lot of like unique things to your gameplay, right? Because you can continue to play a little longer, continue to grind for more and more items. I also really love the um, pet house in the back here. I think it's such a cute little area. And the spouse area is over here and uh, next to this little uh, lake. Um, the warp point is up here, I believe, um, on the top of this little tower. There's a little hidden cave right in here, which is awesome. And there is, I think, a pathway to the secret forest down in the bottom left corner, I believe. I think if you go down this little path. Um, but we'll explore it. We'll get to see all of it in regular gameplay. There are new NPCs added to the game. So we're going to look at Victor. He lives with his mother, Olivia. This is Olivia. Uh, Victor is one of the new um, dateable characters. Olivia is not. Um, Andy owns a farm in the Cindersap Forest. He gets along well with Lewis. Um, he is not a dateable character. There is Susan. Susan has a farm up near the train tracks. Um, she's not a dateable character. She gets added when the train track area gets opened. Um, you don't really hear from her before that. Sophia owns the Blue Moon Vineyard. It's a new map area between basically the beach and the kind of right hand side of Cindersap Forest map. Um, she's really good friends with Victor, Olivia, Gus, Haley, and Emily. Uh, Morris isn't a new character, but basically they added game content for Morris. Um, he has dialogue, he has events, you can become friends with him. It's really cool. Uh, same with Marlin. Um, same character as the regular gameplay, but you actually get to become friends with him. And there are some yeah, new events, dialogue, backstory. Claire is the um, employee who works at Joja Mart. So again, not a new character, but she has her whole backstory now. Um, she doesn't have any coworkers beside, or any friends beside her coworker Martin. That's sad. <laughs> um, Martin's mom and dad wanted him to get a full-time job, experience at Joja Mart. <laughs> Martin's mom and dad made him get a job. This is the vanilla world map versus the Stardew Valley expanded world map. Let's kind of like, there we go. Both on the screen at the same time. Um, so as you can see, obviously big difference. Um, this right here is what I was talking about. That is um, the Blue Moon Vineyard. Oh, I already forgot her name. <laughs> wow, that did not take long. Um, there is um, Andy's farm in the forest, uh, Marnie's farm. Marnie gets like a new little farm plot next to here to fill up some space, uh, Wizard's Tower, 
Uh, this is your farm. There's a... I think this might be with immersive farm map. Like, that's what it looks like, because you have a shed over here. But I think with Grandpa's farm, you get the shed over here, if I rem recall correctly. Um, regular game buildings down here. Uh, the... Oh, yes, the... Um, I think this might be with a different... I think this is immersive farm map. I think with... Um, that's supposed to be the uh, Adventurer's Guild, but in the Adventurer's Guild, it's not there. It's, it is up here. I don't know, we'll have to explore. Um, definitely a lot to see. There is so many things coming. I definitely recommend it if you are into mods. It's such a fun mod. Let's switch back to my game. If you get a chance to play it and you wanna tell me how it goes, please do, I would love to hear about it. Um, and all that to say, like, let's get started. I'm going to get set up with my farm. So, you people on my Instagram page already voted, so we're doing the community center or normally, not the remix. We are doing mine rewards normal, so these are things you find. Oops. There we go. These are things you find in here. So we're doing normal. I'm gonna do a your guarantee your one completable just because it's nice. Um, mine rewards are normal. We voted to not spawn monsters on the farm, which I'm thankful for. It was kind of a close call. <laughs> um, and we voted for normal profit margins. So that's perfect. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what to do for a farm name or even my name, but let's just put Birdie as the farmer name. Um, I am very pale. Where's the pale? Thank you. I like there's like a braid one. I think you notice it when it's like in the back. There's like two really long braids and I like, oh wait, that's the braid, but what about this one? What does that look like? Oh no, I don't like that from the front. It's the downside of pixel characters is that sometimes the that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, my hair color needs to be gray. My hair is still currently gray. I might be getting rid of the gray, unfortunately. My hair is kind of damaged, <laughs> you know, as, as one does. Um, I don't like that shirt, though. Ooh, I love the suspender shirts. That's so cute. Let's do blue jeans, though. Nice, nice. Loving it, loving it. Uh, brown, oh, those are purple eyes, we want brown eyes. Okay, done. Um, do you want a cat or a dog? Let's go with the orange cat. I like cats. I have two cats of my own. Um, okay, let's see. Some of the suggestions I had on Instagram, um, Star Bay, Thistle Valley, Hollow Oak Farm. Uh, somebody said that their farm's name was Poop. <laughs> I got uh, Your Mom's Farm, so some classic suggestions. Um, somebody said that they recently named theirs Meadow Grove, so that's nice. Um, I might just go kind of basic and go for Thistle Bay Farm, just to, you know. Thistle Bay was the name of like one of my first Animal Crossing islands. No, my second one. My second Animal Crossing New Horizons Island was called Thistle Bay. So I, that was my Instagram handle. Then I switched to Hey Thistle Bay because I think it rhymes and I like it. Uh, favorite thing, candy. I'm going to skip the intro uh, because, well, no, let's do the intro. That's fine. Okay, Grandpa's Farm. Modestly sized farmable or farmland with tillable grass different landmark locations, shortcuts to surrounding areas, and secrets to discover. Okay. All right, so Birdie, Thistle Bay Farm with a cat. Let's get going. Oh yes, it's been so long since I've actually played. Let me click the envelope. And for my very special granddaughter, let me click it. I want you to have the sealed envelope. I know you do. <laughs> Let me have it. <laughs> Click. There we go. I have the envelope. Oh, look, a little tiny Junimo. It's cute. No, don't open it yet. Have patience. 
I'm not very patient, in case you can't tell. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Okay, I do. I'm, I'm crushed, very crushed. Keep going. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I think, like, that's why Stardew Valley is so popular. is because we're all like, yes, modern life, crushing me. Yes, I want to escape to a farm. Please, help. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Okay, okay. Now let Grandpa rest. Okay, Grandpa. Let's go, let's go. I see, like, Morris, maybe. I wish you could skip this part of the intro and just, like, not have to see it. <laughs> I only want to skip this half of the intro because it's not, like, I can't speed through it. My brain's like, yeah, yeah, go, go. Let's do it, let's do it. Also, why is, like, she the only normal person? Like, if you look at what my character looks like, I could make this character. That'd be a fun let's play. Let's just get a picture of, like, my character looking like that. Give me, give me the letter. Click, click. Click, click, click. Yeah. Dear Birdie, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Yes, I am. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Thistle Bay Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? What if Lewis wasn't alive? Like, it says XX, and I know, like, it's supposed to be, like, ambiguous, but in my head, isn't, like, X in Roman numerals 10? So I'm, like, 20 years later. <laughs> if Grandpa was saying 20 years ago that Lewis is an old guy, you know, just saying. Also, why is it not Pam driving the bus? Does she only drive the bus to the, um... Oh my god. Uh, not beach. That's the wrong word. <laughs> Desert. Oh my god. <laughs> my brain. Does she only drive the bus to, like, the desert? Because, like, you know, it's the same bus. Hello, you must be Birdie. I sure am. I'm Robin, local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying things for your arrival. The farm's right over there, if you'll follow me. Let's see if the intro is fic- like, is with the new farm. It is! That's nice. Go, um, go Stardew Valley Expanded Mod. This is Thistle Bay Farm. Wowzers, it's a mess. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I love your faith in me, Robin. It's very well appreciated. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Lewis's mustache makes me laugh. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Well, yep, that's about the only option. It's a good house, very rustic. Thanks, Lewis. I know what you mean by that. You mean it's shitty. <laughs> Can I say shitty on YouTube? I don't actually know. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt. Robin, that's so mean. <laughs> Rude! Yeah, exactly! <laughs> God, it's been a long time since I've done the intro. Don't listen to her, Birdie. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, savage. <laughs> Anyways, you must be very tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. 
the townspeople would appreciate that. I'm probably not gonna do that. I don't introduce myself to people very early. Gotta get those green beans. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. If there's no box there, Lewis, it's actually over here. <laughs> I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> Some things modding can't change. All right, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready. There we go, let's get... Okay, I'm gonna tell you now, I will 10 out of 10 call parsnips turnips constantly. It's because I play Animal Crossing, so just putting that out there. All right, let's check the weather tomorrow gonna be clear and sunny. Do I have good luck? It's day one. Now they're somewhat mildly perturbed. Great. <laughs> Living off the land. Greenhorns out there chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. There is no way I will be selling wood. It's just not happening. It takes too much energy to grind for it and you need it for so many things super early in game. So I just, I will not be doing that. I'm gonna start to this side just to keep it all to kind of together. I'm gonna be planting the parsnips that I get. I'm also going to be getting, spending all my money on green beans. Um, I'm gonna probably buy like one cauliflower too, just so that I know for sure that I have one um, for my community center, but Green beans will make you the most money, um, so you gotta plant them early. Why am I going down there? What am I doing? Oh my god, okay. Thank you. Oh, can you imagine if I accidentally clicked something else instead? Oh. I would have probably restarted the game. Just been like, nope, 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 nope. Not doing it, not having it. Okay, dump those there. And it's 10, 10 a.m. So let's run to town and go get my seeds. Okay. Ooh, so you can start seeing some of the changes at the start of Alex Van. Like, so like, I don't want to like waste too much time because time is money. But um, Pierre has a little farm um, to grow his crops back there, which is super cool. All right, hi guys. I used to get so mad because I would like buy seeds from Pierre, and I didn't realize that it wouldn't count as me like saying hi to him and that drove me crazy okay i got eight oh i guess i'm not buying cauliflower huh? oops i'll do that next time um come here person hi abigail is your mother home let's run past you nope your mom's reading oh this was slow okay three people greeted run away also dusty gets a little like actually nice and i get to go pet him this is the only thing that's important in life hi dusty i love him dusty's little like shack that's all fenced in is basically criminal like and you think about um there's like a twitter campaign about how abigail had like a guinea pig thing that was like really not safe for guinea pigs or something like that. I think they should make one. Whoops, get a till land. I think they should make something, a little campaign to say that the treatment of Dusty is not fair and inhumane. That is my thought. Okay, so that's eight there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And then we're gonna go a little gap. One, two, uh, this is 15. So maybe we'll go um, three by five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I think when you get the one upgrade on your watering can, it d waters three at a time. So that way it'll be nice for that. Okay, okay, phew, I made it, I'm good, I didn't die. Okay, uh, we need Scythe to come with me, and we're gonna go forage, because we need to make money. Money is power. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I always have to make sure I don't bring any tools with me that like actually use power, like energy when I am really low on energy because I inevitably, I do this all the time. Oops, give me. Ooh, ooh, I see one button tree. Give me. I will. Look how nice that blends together. Flawless. Gorgeous. I love it. Um, if I have something in my hand, I will inevitably, like, use it. It's just, like, I always press the wrong button. I'm so impatient that I'm just, like, click, 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 click. Cut to, you know, a clip of me from <laughs> the intro. Let me click it. I'm impatient. Um, so, let's see. Mm -hmm. Can Oh, I can't meet the wizard yet. Uh, this is like a special new forest map. Let's go in here. Yeah. Let's go. There's often a lot of things in here. The downside is that I will get lost a lot in this area, um, because it's big. And if you're not careful, you'll just pass out here. Uh -huh. There is, should be a little shed or something. Oh, let's see. Aurora Vineyard, Pelican Town. Okay, so Aurora Vineyard is this way. Yeah, there it is. So it's all abandoned and stuff. Oh, this is different. It's been a while since I've played. Um, oh, oh, what can I do? Dawkins Residence, Aurora Vineyard. Nice. So it's all abandoned and stuff, right? And you can go in. Barrel is empty and slowly rotting away. Yeah, that sounds about right. What about the shelf? No, nothing there. Um, I can pick up the doll. So that's a quick way to get access to, like, the museum. Yeah, no, I want to go up there. Let me go up. Okay, maybe it's somewhere else. There's like a little bear you can meet too. What about here? This looks like a secret pathway. Nope. What time is it? 6.30 p.m. Okay. Let's try and duck through here. See if I can find anything. Is this where the bear is? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Secret passageway. There's, ooh, there we go. Yeah, thank you. There is, um, when I, I remember when I first got the Stardew Valley Expanded mod, um, oh, 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 how do I get through? Okay, <laughs> panicked for a second. When I first got the Stardew Valley Expanded mod, I, um, I wasn't there, like, from the beginning, beginning, but I definitely got some of the earlier access ones, and they've actually, like, not patched it, but they've made it more um, balanced, that's the word. It's more balanced now. So before there's a lot of things you could access pretty early as long as you knew where they were. <laughs> and so I would just look up where they were and get access to like really late content, like instantly. And it was a lot of fun <laughs> for me. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, unbalanced gameplay. I like cheating. <laughs> It's fun. I like to cheat sometimes. I do have my cheats installed right now, but I'm gonna try to not cheat just for the sake of like the let's play. Ooh, ooh, I see you. Thank you. Because I think it's fun to just like try and actually play the game and you guys are gonna be here to keep me honest. Um, last time I played Stardew Valley Expanded, uh, it was like half to just, ooh, ooh, I see you, I see you. Last time I played Stardew Valley Expanded, it was half to just, like, decorate the farm, like, Grandpa's farm map, because I hadn't really played with it much, um, and I liked the idea of it, like, it was really pretty to me, um, and also half because they had added, since the last time I played it, they had added the ability that you could marry the wizard, and I was like, I want to marry the wizard, that sounds fun, and so I just, like, played. <laughs> and cheated. I was just like, oh, here is your most loved gift every day. There's also like a cheat that lets you um, give gifts over and over and over. <laughs> so I just like gave so many gifts all day, every day. Um, okay. 
and like married him really quickly. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save the doll. We're gonna save one leek, one daff or daffodil, one dandelion. We're gonna save the fiber. We're gonna save, actually we're gonna plant those seeds real quick. Cause I do still have a little bit of energy so I'm gonna push my luck. Let's not pass out, let's not pass out. Okay, one, two, bam, done. And let's put it away before I accidentally use it. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep the Dan, okay. Leak is 40 energy, 17 health, 25 energy, 11 health. Let's keep the leaks and the, yeah, let's just sell the, da the daffodils. Let's be smart, um, I need money, but I also need to do, th do stuff. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the trash because I don't need it right now. Um, let's get watering can in our pocket. Okay. It's 1020, so let's just duck to the town quickly to see if we can meet anyone else. Um, I don't want to push my luck too, too much. But we'll see if we can meet somebody at the saloon. Maybe Shane or Pam are still there. Ooh, we can check garbage cans too. Okay. Ooh, yeah, lots of people still here. Perfect. Hi, Clint. Shane, I love you. <laughs> I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. Thanks, Emily. Shane is my my favorite. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. He's so mean to me, though. Would you look at that? The new farmer finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working the far Fairhaven farm for many years. You know what I should name my farm? I should name my farm Fairhaven, and maybe there'd be like secret dialogue of like, I hate you, you're trying to steal stuff from me. He's so like crotchety. <laughs> okay, that's everyone to meet there. Let's go raid the garbage cans quick. No one around, perfect. Nothing soggy newspaper. Uh, 11.30. Oh, hi, Morris. If you need cheap quality seeds, nowhere's better. And let's boot it back home. Because we want to try and get in bed before 1. I think it's between 1 and 2. So if you get to bed between 12 and 1, you still get all your energy back. And if you get to bed between 1 and 2, you do not get all your energy back. I think that's how it goes. We'll see. Let's see if I get full energy. It's 12, 10. Okay. So, yeah. I find it funny. Trash is like fishing. I'm like, that poor ocean. Okay. <laughs> Day two, spring year one. All right. I'm going to, let's see how long have I been recording. Ooh, a bit. Okay. I'm going to cut it off here because I don't want the video to get too long, but thank you for watching. Ooh, let's pause it before I like waste the whole day. 10 minutes wasted. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching my Stardew Valley Let's Play part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two. I'm probably just going to record it now because <laughs> I'm enjoying playing Stardew Valley. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any thoughts on who I should start romancing first, let me know. Um, I don't have anyone set in mind. I'll probably try to like explore some of the new characters, like um, hard events, just for the sake of like showing off the mod and you know letting people see something that they might not be able to play if they don't have Stardew Valley for the computer um, or a computer strong enough to run mods. My old laptop can attest that it's it's a big bod. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Let me know what you think. I'm so excited to hear um, what you guys have thought of this first part. Uh, have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>